Hi everyone and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK tutorial. In this video I'll be looking at how to add ground services to your airport. So when you add parking spaces to an airport, the type of the parking space dictates which services are allowed to spawn and the plane that's actually at that parking decides which of the allowed services will spawn at that point. You can see which services are allowed to spawn by a list called parking under the properties of the parking space. So for example, this is a small uh, ramp general aviation parking type here. We can see down here we have scripts parking and it shows us that at this parking space the allowed services that will spawn is the marshaller and then small pushback and that's it. There's nothing else that spawns there. Whereas I take one of these other ones here, so these are ramp GA medium. You can see down here we have the marshaller and then we also get a ground power unit which we can request through the ATC menu to connect to our aircraft. So if I come over here, you can see I've got all the different parking spaces laid out or at least the ones you'd want to use most of the time. So Along the top we have the gates, so you have gate extra, heavy, medium and small and then likewise on the bottom we have ramp GA extra, ramp GA large, ramp GA medium and ramp GA small. So if we click through these we can see that all the gates are the same. If we look down here at the scripts parking you'll see that as I click through those it's the same for each gate type. So each gate allows a marshaller, a pushback, a baggage loader, a catering truck, a ground power unit and a small pushback. The ramps are slightly different, so the ramp GA extra has a boarding ramp, marshaller, pushback, baggage loader, catering truck, ground power unit, small pushback. It's the same for the ramp GA large. Ramp GA medium, like I already showed, has just the marshaller, ground power unit, and small pushback. And then the, the small ramp has marshaller and small pushback. So I'm spawning an ABUS A320 at one of the large gates that I've got at this airport. And as you can see around me, I've got all of the ground services that would spawn automatically at the gate. So I've got the power supply, I've got the ramp, I've got a baggage service and a catering service. Okay, so I'm now spawned in again in the A320. This time instead I'm at one of my ramp GA small parking spots and as you can see around me I've got none of the ground services here and because there's no ground service spots apart from the marshaller and the small pushback that are allowed to spawn at this parking space. So any of the services that the Airbus requests such as the baggage service, they're not allowed to spawn so they don't appear here. On the other hand, as you can see, I'm spawning with a Cessna 152 this time, back again at the large, and as you can see, all I've got available to me is the small pushback. It's none of the baggage services, there's no ramp, no catering service, and that's because although these services are allowed at this parking spot, the aircraft type I'm using, the Cessna, doesn't ask for them so they won't spawn in when you put the airplane here. So you may have noticed that's not all the ground services we have access to. I've left out the fuel truck and that's because the fuel truck is the exception to these. Fuel trucks for ground services that does not automatically spawn when you place down a gate. And to have these spawn at your airport, you need to place down a parking specifically for ground vehicles and connect it up to your taxiway network. If you don't have one of these valid parking spots connected up to your airport, then ATC will respond that no fuel truck is available when you request one in the ATC menu. So you'll still have the option there but it will respond saying, no, that's not allowed. So let's go ahead and add a parking space. We've just seen every project open. We just need to go over to the objects panel. Here in the objects panel and the object type, go down to taxiway parking and choose vehicle in the taxiway parking. I'm going to have mine just by these hangers over here. So select vehicle and click add, then drag it to wherever you want it to be. So I'm just going to position it around here. We then need to connect it up to the taxiway network. And as you can see, I've already got taxiway paths coming to where my parking is, so I don't need to add any and I'll just connect it up. I do have a video on creating a taxiway network if you need more information on that. Click the card on the video or you can find a link in the video description for that. Otherwise, let's carry on. Select the taxiway point first, so let's click on the taxiway point and then hold down the control key and select the parking spot. With them both selected, right click and click create path and you should see you get a line drawn between your taxiway point and the parking spot. I'm just going to disable this parking spot line here by clicking on the green line that comes out from the parking spot and just disabling center line checkbox there. And as you'll see, that goes away. That's what I want here. Now, if we look over at the scenery editor, you'll see we do have an error here. And if I click show error, it's on the airport objects that we have a duplicated taxiway parking, non-zero non. That's because although it's a vehicle parking, it still has the same rules as any other parking spot. It needs a name and it needs a number. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call this parking. I'm going to give it a high number like 1000 and that's because unlike the normal parking spots you won't see this outside of the SDK or the dev tools 
uh, you don't see it on the spawn menu or anything like that so the number's not really essential and that just means it doesn't conflict with any of the normal gates I've got at my airport so this will now work as is so as you can see I've got a taxiway path coming out all the way from the parking spot down here onto the main taxiway and back up to this apron here so if I was spawned at this gate over here and called for a fuel truck now it would taxi along these taxiways and come all the way down but what we can do is make that a little bit quicker so you see at the top here there's a little service road that runs along the top of the aprons here and that's just allow access from these hangars for ground traffic to go along to the main apron so what i'm going to do is create a new taxiway path just for vehicles and that will allow the truck to take that route instead so to do this go back to the objects panel under the objects type choose taxiway point and you want to just pick normal here now what i'm going to do is first select uh, the taxiway point on the main taxiway that I've got already I want this route to start from, so that, this one here I'll enable one click placing place down a taxiway point and then disable that and why I'm doing this is I just want to make sure that this has the correct uh, options for me, so I'm going to change the type to vehicle I'm going to make sure that I've got center line checked here because I want a white dashed center line on my vehicle path you can also enable um, edge lines as well like so uh, for the vehicle paths they're solid white edge lines but I'm going to leave those disabled for this taxiway path and now we're ready to create the rest of the path so as before select uh, the last point on the path re-enable one click placing in the object panel and then go ahead and place the rest of your points like so And once you've reached the area that you want to join it to, so I've already got a vehicle path down here, but this would work just as well as you can see with a normal taxiway path here. You want to do like any other taxiway, uh, keep the end of your new path selected, hold down the control key and then select the path you want it to join to, right click and create a path there. Now one thing you may have noticed when we were going along creating these taxiway paths is there's not actually a background, so uh, this is one of the roads that's placed from the OpenStreetMap data, but down here, if I go further up, you'll see there's no background on this path here, and that's because even though we have a material ticked, a draw surface ticked, um, vehicle paths don't actually show a background texture. So if you want to add that to your vehicle path, you need to use aprons uh, to do that. Otherwise, that's completed now. So if I zoom out here, you can see we now have a vehicle path flowing from our main apron down here all the way up to the vehicle parking spot that I've just made for my fuel truck. And that allows the fuel truck to spawn at this airport. And then the taxiway path allows vehicles such as the fuel truck and other wandering ground traffic to drive around the airport uh, and stay off the taxiways so that planes can use those. So we now have a taxiway parking for vehicles which will allow a fuel truck to spawn at the airport. And then this taxiway path here uh, for ground vehicles will allow the fuel truck and other wandering ground traffic such as the uh, patrol vehicles and other things like that to drive around the airport off the main taxiways. So this should be ready to go now, so as always, don't forget to save and build your product. So open up the scenery editor, and at the bottom, click save scenery, or press Control S to save. And then next, I always like to have my console open before I build the project, just to make sure there's no errors. So in the dev mode toolbar, go to Windows console, click that. You can also use the tilde key to open up the console like so. Click clear here, down at the bottom to clear that out, and then click build all. That gives you a clear view of what's happened in this build process here and the line you're looking for is package builder finished and here I've got six skipped one done and zero failed the most important part so this package is built correctly so everything looks good here and we can reload the airport and check out the changes okay so I'm spawning again in the Airbus A320 at one of the large ramps on this airport we've now created a parking space for our fuel truck over there and a service road down to the main apron so if I go over to the ATC panel that I've got opened up and tune into the ground and request fuel supply through here. Ground GRBDD112 tree, could you please send a fuel truck? GRBDD112 tree, a fuel truck is on the road. The ATC responds that the fuel truck's been sent, and as you can see over there in the distance, it's going to start making its way over to us, and it'll do that by using the service road that we've created rather than the main taxiways. It should be a little bit faster for it on its journey. Now 
And there we go. So once the fuel truck drives over and connects to the aircraft, it'll pop up the fuel panel like so. I really hope that Microsoft speeds that up a little bit in the future because it's excruciatingly painful to watch the driver inch his way up to the plane. But anyways, once you close the fuel panel like so, you'll see the truck drive away and go back to its parking space. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like me to cover in future tutorials, let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, thanks for watching.